Can you tell the difference between a Photoshop and a real picture? You know, there are some really crazy photoshops out there. We're gonna be trying to guess which ones are photoshops and which ones aren't, so let's go. All right, so this one looks pretty pretty regular. Looks a little uncommon. Oh, eh? there's a small there's a small frisbee, a small frisbee. That that's not common. I don't know what that's about. I'm a, I'm going to go photoshop. I'm going to go photoshop. I wouldn't say photoshop if it wasn't for the frisbee. Would have been really cool if the turtle had pulled off such a stunt on his own, but unfortunately yeah. the image oh, is and photoshopped. Also, eh, can can turtles jump? I don't think so. Can turtles jump? Just give me a direct fucking end. All right, whatever. All right. Yeah, this one is not Photoshop. You know, clearly there's just a crazy artist out there that painted the whole. That's pretty obvious. Completely painted person, and the picture is not from the computer, but rather was it. recorded in yeah, reality. It's pretty, by it's pretty impressive. It's pretty impressive. Not, not to say that it's not. What the fuck is that? That looks like AI generated, but you just never know nowadays. I'm going to go with real. It would have been too good to be okay. true. Of course, this one comes straight from the computer. Like I said, it just looked AI generated, but you know what? I was wrong. This one doesn't look very like, it seems like there's no need to Photoshop this, but it does look AI generated. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with Photoshop. Again, this one looks almost way too perfect. And therefore it has yeah. to be the work of a Photoshop artist. This one looks impressive. That looks, ah, uh, the light kind of looks fake. I'm not going to lie. Because you, you don't just get that unnatural in a night sky like that. You know, I feel like it has to be foggy or something like that. Or maybe it's, I don't know. I'm going to go, I'm going to go Photoshop. Simply brilliant. And this was actually oh, shot really? by the photographer Christian Adam. That's crazy. Whoa. That's, that's pretty cool. But it kind of, eh, kind of, kind of. Kind of looks AI generated, I'm not going to lie. This one was taken underwater what? by photographer Benjamin Wong. Okay. That one... It looks real. Just, you know, like, they edit out the strings or something. So I feel like technically it's photo. I'm going to go with Photoshop. There's no way that this shit was taken. Like, I don't know what the fuck. Like, no. Well, unfortunately, this one would depend yep. on a woman using invisible ropes. And therefore, this... La is yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. It's, it's an interesting photo. It's an interesting photo. The lighting is, is pretty, like, unrealistic. But I feel like that's why they put it in the number one spot. Because, like, I feel like, you know, they'd expect people to lean towards Photoshop. Definitely Photoshop. But I feel like they pulled some shit. And, you know, this is definitely real. For this one, someone actually was hanging. So Andreas Talbert could shoot this beautiful shot. Well, folks, I hope you passed the real or Photoshop test. Let me know how many you got. So it was a chill, low-key little idea that I had. So yeah, let me know what I should react to next. Cold like ice, didn't make it out alive.